Hello, this is Esther Gornet, and we're going to be talking about our trip to El Salvador on July uh, of this year. Uh, we went there to uh, deliver some baskets to see how people are living and how can we help them more. The first picture is the neighborhood we were staying. It's actually next door to the house they were hosting. I took a picture of two kids. They're working already and they're like 12, 13 years old, no school. And they help selling coconuts to provide for their families. We have uh, people uh, gathering to prepare food for the missionaries. Uh, some of the missionaries were there, Pastor Bluvan, his wife, another family, Cruz family, uh, my husband, myself. Uh, another uh, lady from Mexico. I believe that we were like 10, 13 people. The following picture is Natividad, an old lady that lives by herself. She lives in very poor conditions and we're praying for her and we are talking about her health and things like that. Hermana Bluvan is preparing the baskets. The, ba the baskets were like having the basics like oil, rice, sugar, um, matches, uh, soup, little basic things that they can use. Here, and my husband, you don't see my husband, but we were playing with the kids around the block. Uh, some of them didn't have no shoes or the, their clothing was very poor. Here, there's some people with no electricity. Some of their houses got burned or they don't have the necessity like to go to the bathroom. This uh, woman has two uh, older kids that are uh, special needs and they live like in a high hill uh, house with uh, no electricity, very, very poor conditions. This lady has been here laying down on her bed for 10 years, sick, uh, and she's not able to afford medication. This is Daniel. The first day uh, we met him, and we tell him that we want to go and know the neighborhood and deliver Bibles. Right away, he went and changed his shirt and grabbed his Bible. Even though he lives with no electricity and no toilet, his heart was poured to help people around. And this young kid, not too long ago, lost both of, her, both of his parents. Now he, he's only 17, and now he's in charge of three of his younger sisters. Last year, we helped this lady because her half of her house was burned. And the Hispanic people helped her uh, send some money to kind of rebuild her kitchen. She's still in great need. Some more, more pictures of the services we had. We gathered like a lot of kids, a lot of family. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. This uh, man lives with his brother in uh, very poor conditions. Is his brother in a wheelchair. They share the same name. It was funny to us to be talking to them with their same name. Here again, we're preparing the food, the baskets to get delivered to the family. This is Reina, a neighbor next door where we were staying, and she's the one that helped us with the pupusas. Uh, we help her, and she helped us. These men used live across the street where we were staying, uh, his house, very, very bad shape. The roof is metal, and sometimes he said that he doesn't have food to eat. This is Danny. He's the one that helped us all the time there. He has no electricity. We already sent some donation for him to start the electricity service for him. It's on the process. Then we sent some addition money for the orphan. We're going to start little by little helping. Um, our heart is on mission. Our heart is helping the poor. And with these pictures and videos, I want to invite you to share some of the things that you have or start praying for this mission because we want to go back. We want to be in touch and we don't just want to see pictures. We want to do more than that. We want to reach out and we want to make a difference. Thank you very much and God bless you.